Hello again, this is going to be the Riprap Prussia build part 8, assembling the Z axis. And first what we're going to do is use our spirit level to get the top, top bars as level as possible. And doing that by uh, leveling the whole thing out with shims just to get this uh, as level as possible. And then we're going to be taking uh, I'm going to be taking the spirit level like or the drop line and putting it right in the middle of here where our uh, 14 inch smooth rod is going to go and try to line this up as best as possible with to this to try to get this as straight as possible and then tighten that all up but the first problem I ran into is my number six one inch screws are too long because right here, I don't know if you can see that, but they're poking out a little bit so when I put my motor on there, that doesn't, doesn't fit into those holes. So I'm going to have to get uh, smaller screws to do this. Alright, so right here to get the screw into this nut without getting too far over for the uh, motor to get hitched on so it actually fit, um, I bought some 3 quarters inch number 6 screws and they were too small, they weren't actually getting all the way to the nut. So I have to cut um, my inches, number 6's, by five threads so it will actually fit so that's kind of funny Alright, 
So now I'm going to take the assembled x-axis and glue the, the brass bushings to the top and bottom of these top and bottom of these and then clamp it at the very top so it's nice and even and then wait for that to dry. Okay, so this is one of the couplings that I'm going to be installing next. Um, I have three quarter inch number six screws, the washer, and the coupling, and then another washer and a lock nut. And that will be going, here's my other one, that will be going right there. And I'll be installing that next. So I've already installed this side, and then this side uh, all it is is a uh, nut underneath there. and then inside I uh, put the a spring and on top another nut and then we're gonna thread this up and then we're gonna put this uh, assembled coupling here and screw that in until it gets to the middle and then uh, screw that up up into the motor as far as it goes and then screw it on as tightly as possible without breaking it and then uh, leveling this out so it's uh, parallel with the top well okay Okay, so this is the end of the uh, z-axis. It's done now. So when these move, the z-axis should go up and down, and it's level.